Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Matters Monday because art matters. Uh, this is a book by Neil Gaiman, the artist of the book, the illustration, illustrator is Chris Riddell and we are coloring this page today and it says I believe I have the right to think and say the wrong things. I believe your remedy for that should be to argue with me or to ignore me uh, that I should have the same remedy for the wrong things that I believe you think hold on one second there that's better sorry about that guys my mic wasn't all the way out so <laughs> you probably didn't hear me very well I have fixed it so hopefully that's good so it's two wonderful hands basically you know talking to each other their hand speaking one is arguing, one is reasoning, you know, that sort of thing. Basically, everyone has the right to their own opinion, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have the right to attack people with your opinion. If somebody chooses to ignore you or to walk away from the argument, let them be. Let them have that right. And that's, that's what I think uh, this is saying to me anyway is that people do have the right to their opinion. I have the right not to understand or, or agree with their opinion. And I have the right to walk away instead of getting into an argument. So we're going to color these two hands and we're going to color them in different tones. I'm going to do this in a light tone and this in a darker tone. So, and we are going to use the Castle Art 120 Gold. I know it's a wet month, but unfortunately this book does not take wet mediums very well, so I will be using colored pencils in it. Because I tried all wet medium, it didn't work out. So I need, let's start with this one here. So I need this one. The book's going to close. <laughs> I need to get the pencils out. I should have pulled them out, but of course I did not. Because I'm silly. There we go. That's the one I wanted. So that one, that one, this one. And a little bit of this one, I think. And then a little bit of this one. Okay, so we've got five different colors here. And we'll, we'll test a little area to make sure I've got the three colors that I want. And, of course, we need to sharpen. So how is everybody? How was your weekend? I spent my weekend doing a little bit of spring cleaning yesterday. And that's about it. Of course, I did the Saturday color and chat. Because, yeah. And I colored a bug. And it's an awesome bug. I'm really proud of my bug. So the color I'm using first is Oyster, which is a nice purple. It's a very, very shadowy kind of purple. So if you have a very light, light purple in, in whatever set you're using, that would be the color. It's almost a purple gray or a pink gray color. Old rose would have worked as well or dusky rose. Uh, in some sets. I'm trying to think of all the colors, the color names for, for the same pencil. <laughs> Good luck with that. So I'm using this in the shadow areas that Chris has given us. He has given us the movements and the shadows of the hand. So it makes it very, very easy to color in those shadows. Oh, and silly me, I p didn't put my page down. Let's hope I wasn't pressing hard enough for it to pick up the other page's ink. 
I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here. Maybe we can get a better view of what I'm doing. There we go. That's a little better. And as you can see, it just looks like a very, very light purple-gray color. And it'll blend into the skin tones and give us that shadow coloring. Oh, there's Mr. Train. Mr. Train says hello. All right, almost done. The thicker the lines and the more lines there are, the deeper I'm putting this purple gray. So if the lines are few and far between, I'm putting less gray there. Okay. Now we're going to take our peach and we're going to go right over top of the gray. and bring it out just a little bit beyond the gray. This is our darker shadow color. And it's a fairly decent deep skin, light skin tone color, dark, dark tone for the light skin tone, I think, this is a dark color for the light skin tone. <sighs> Trying to be politically and technically correct is hard. <laughs> And then we're going to take our next color, which is Apricot Light. And the book is going to close because I have to sharpen. So other than the one problem that I had um, with these from putting too much pressure on them and watching them shatter, so far I've actually re I've colored with them a little bit and they do lay down really nice and they do blend beautifully. So I think I think that they are a fairly nice set of pencils. I just love how well rounded they are really really good amount of different colors and in all color families you know and of course they have the pastel tints and the uh, metallics as well so if you are craving those pastels and those metallics they do have those sets as well that uh, I do believe are of the same base as these So now I'm just going in with this medium tone and extending out from the darker areas, leaving some really light areas open. They are an oil-based pencil, so they do layer, and they do layer very nicely. You can definitely squish these as well. You just got to be careful not to push too hard, because they do they do break, and when they do break, they fracture, they shatter the entire tip of the pencil, which is just strange to me, and it's oddly amusing when it <laughs> happens. 
It's a little shocking at first, but it is oddly amusing when it happens. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest color, which is going to be Cadmium Orange Light. And we're going to bring it all together. And I'm just going over the entire hand with the cadmium orange light, filling in any of that white spot that's still there, and blending those colors together with the lighter pencil. Now you can do this with a blender pencil if you just wanted to just put in the, the light color in the areas that were open, and then just take a blender pencil to combine them all. However, I'm finding with these pencils that that's really unnecessary. They do blend together really nicely just by using your light pencil. And the white in this set is actually very, very nice. You can actually use it on top and get a white effect, which is great. I had a bit of pencil sharpening there. Okay, now for the shirt, we're going to do a blue shirt. So we're going to start with uh, da, da, da. Uh, let's start with the Venetian blue, which is a kind of a purpley blue, and then we'll go into a dark blue. Ultramarine. And maybe this one. Cobalt blue. So we're going to do um, a really light blue or a really dark blue around the edge. Now, because this is a very small amount of shirt, we may not get all these colors on, but we will try. This is, yeah, that's the color I need for dark skin tone anyway, so. Alright. So let's start with our ultramarine, because it's a dark. And we'll do the edges here. And then we'll take this one here, a little bit of the cobalt blue deep. Just to darken that up just a touch, extend it out a little. Now with a light hand, those are really close to the same color. <laughs> And then we'll t come in with the Venetian blue and we'll finish it off. And then there we have it. Now for the dark skin tone, we're going to use Venetian Blue for our shadows because it is a blue that has a bit of a red undertone. And with our, our darker skin tones, it works very well 
to have that bit of a, a blue color. In my opinion, anyway, the way I do them anyway. I don't do very many dark skin tones because they scare me because I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to, they're very difficult to do. Um, there's so many different colors that you need to add in different increments, in different spaces, in different lighting situations, and different, it depends upon the skin itself. So, they're, they're kind of a, a difficult skin tone to do. But we're going to do it. I say we're going to do it. Now I need permanent brown deep. Uh, and I need a little bit of brown ochre. A little bit of yellow ochre. And Yeah, a bit of cinnamon, I think. I think those are the ones that we're going to use. Now we're going to go in with our darkest brown, which is the permanent brown deep. And I'm actually going to stay on camera this time, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I'm going to sharpen it up. And hopefully, hopefully I don't mess this up. I do apologize if I do. So I'm just going to go over top of that reddish color here. And I'm just extending it out just a little bit into those lighter areas. And if any, any of you missed it this morning like I did, Ashley was live. And I missed it. I was horrified. Now we're going to go in with a bit of brown ochre. And brown ochre has a bit of a red tone to it. Of course, I need to sharpen it. And we're going to extend that out. Still going over top of our dark areas, blending those colors together. And just being very gentle going over the areas that don't have anything on them that are close together. So because of the way he's holding his hand, he has very limited light areas. So we're just going to coat the entire hand. And then we're going to take our yellow ochre and we're just going to do that again. Right over the whole thing. Adding that yellowy tone. Finding that's a little too yellow, so we're going to take our cinnamon and we're just going to go into it. Cinnamon has a quite a bit of a red tone to it, so mixed in with that yellow tone, it gives us a good 
highlight. Now for some touch-ups. So we're going to take that, where did I put it, uh, Venetian blue again. And we're just going to touch up the shadow areas. Just giving them a little bit more of that shadow color. And then we're going to take our brown ochre again and just very gently just putting very very little pressure on this mixing into it. And there we have our darker skin tone. Now it's not a really dark skin tone, but it's a nice darker skin tone. Alright, so I'm going to switch it back over to the main camera so you can see it all together. And once again it says, I believe I have the right to think and say the wrong things. I believe your remedy for that should be to argue with me or to ignore me. And that I should have the same remedy for the wrong things that I believe you think. Then that is, uh, in my, my mind, in my heart, what that's saying is that you can say whatever you want about me, but you can't get mad at me and you can't attack me when I walk away, when I ignore you, or vice versa. I can say whatever I want about you, but I can't get mad at you for walking away and ignoring me or even arguing with me over the fact. All right, and that is our Monday Matters for today. I hope that it has been helpful and, of course, given you something to think about. Tomorrow is our, our Topic Tuesday, and we will go through a specific topic so that uh, we can have something to talk about or to work on throughout the week. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Matters Monday. And, of course, next week we will be coloring this one here. All right, until then, guys, thank you all very much for watching. You have a fantastic day and a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Until next time, bye-bye for now. Oh, and always, always, almost forgot. Always be kind to one another. Relax, color, and stay safe. Until next time, have a great day.